Hello guys, this is Satvik and in this video, I will show you how you can perform brute force attack using burp suite or burp suit. So without getting any delay, let's start. Friends, I am performing this attack on a damn vulnerable web application in a VMware. But you can also try this on real sites, even in your Windows also. You can download your buffs, uh, you can download the buff suit client for your Windows also. So in order to make this uh, secure and not a illegal process, I am doing this on my Metasploitable machine. In Metasploitable, there is a section called damn vulnerable web application. I will be testing this. And in the DVW, you can see a section named brute force attack and I will be uh, doing this on this. Uh, since I changed my password here and you can see when I try to log in, it is showing that username or password is incorrect. So in order to brute force this section, uh, first of all, we need to turn on our proxy in your browser or you can simply download foxy proxy and you can set your bub suit configurations and I will turn on my bub suit right now. And uh, I will try password. And now let me open my bub suite. What bub suit? It is diff it is different for each pronunciations. So let's call it simply burp. So what does burp does is it intercepts the requests so that we can change the we can change or manipulate the data on the fly. So now uh, not only now we'll look at a section named intruder where we'll perform this attack. So I had opened my bub suit, uh, which is a community edition. You can also try this on your professional edition if you are having it. So let me come to my application and I had entered a password, uh, which is not correct. And let me try to log in. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now let me try to log in. Yeah, uh, you can see that Bub has intercepted this request and in the proxy and in the intercept section, you can see a data and you might also see another uh, another data. If you don't see the thing like username and password, don't use it. Just simply forward it and until you get this username and password. And now if we want to brute force this thing. So uh, this request. So let's right click on this and set the option set to the uh, send to intruder and now go to your intruder section and here you can see that the host uh, which is the IP address of our met uh, metasploitable machine and the port and let's go to the position section and here here comes the real part here you can see the ampersand symbols uh, ampersand symbol and the green part uh, sorry green green color highlighted part this shows that we will uh, by default it is brute forcing all the sections but we don't need to do that so let me clear the ampersands so there will be no more proof for attacks and now select the thing uh, this is our section and click on add ampersand so we will be only brute forcing on this section right and now let's go to the payloads and now let's load our payload or you can add simply by typing over here but i will load it password.txt this is a simple thing i had done open it and i'll also show you my word list since for the demonstration purpose, I, I used a simple uh, password word list. You can see the password is this only. So I'll close it. And I had added my uh, word list right here. And now you can click on start attack. Click on OK. And this is much more efficient than Hydra because you need to do lots of stuff in Hydra. But here it's really, really simple. And Let's wait until it completes all the process. And unlike in Hydra, you won't see like uh, you got the password or anything like that. Yeah, I think my brute force attack is completed. No, no, no. Six by five, six by nine. Yeah. So let's wait until it completes. Yeah, it's complete. It's finished right now. And here you need to mainly focus on the length section. And you need to select the payload which is which has a different length right let me sort it like let me click on the length section and you can see this is the uh, 
payload which is having the different length and you can see at the bottom of the request and let's see whether this is correct or not and in the response sorry right click on this go to the request right click on this and click on send to repeater and we'll also look at the repeater section where you can simply uh, copy and check this and this is our request and let's look what our response looks like click on send right here and uh, search for anything that you will find it you find it useful yeah you can see here welcome to the password protected area admin this shows that we are successfully logged in and and also says that password 123 is our password so let me copy this request control c and let me go to my proxy and in this uh, request let's paste it control all and control v so that or you can simply paste the password right here and let me forward it and let me go back to my uh, application and you can see that the welcome to the password protected area admin so we can conclude that the password for this section uh, for the admin is admin password 123 you can by using this method you can brute force on any other login pages or anything a two factor authentication or anything like that but make sure that uh, make sure that your work is legal and if you performing illegal tasks then you might be in jail after some time so friends this is how you can brute force any login page using pub suit so i'll uh, explain brief once again you will select the target you sorry you select the payload and when you start, run the attack you can see that the length section here and select the payload which is having the different length compared to the others okay uh, so and copy the and right click on the request go to go to the repeater and in the repeater click on send and view the response and set where you get a keyword like this since this is a dvwa you can see that welcome to the password protected area admin and after you got your successful uh, password copy the request and go to your proxy and paste it over there and forward it it's a really simple task so friends this is how you can brute force using a pups using burp community edition so if you like this video please like it and do subscribe to my channel such that your subscription will be a massive appreciation to my work and i will also focus on presenting much more videos like this so thank you for watching this is satvik signing off